We're Valley Middle School's power couple, Tommy and Macy, and we've got a great show for you today. First, we'll dive into a piece about an ocean photographer, take a look at some creative masterpieces made by our VMS TV class, and see the future of our U.S. roller skating team. So sit back and relax, because VMS TV starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back. To kick off the show, let's plunge into the crashing shore break where we'll find a young ocean photographer, Anton Scholl. Guys, take it away. It's here, by the crashing waves, where you'll find Anton Scholl, a seventh grader here at Valley who has a passion for photography. My favorite memory during ocean photography is definitely going to Laguna with my friend Costa and shooting and get, getting in huge barrels and getting perfect shots and especially using his iPhone for the first time ever. There is one person who drives Anton to keep doing what he loves. Who inspires me the most in ocean photography is definitely Clark Little because he creates awesome images. They're always different each time. Not only does Anton use cameras like these, but he also uses his phone. I decided to use a phone over a camera because it's more lightweight and more compact. And with a phone, you get the option to like shoot bigger shore break or smaller shore break and it's safer. Although Anton gets negative feedback, he doesn't let it get to his head. I don't really take negative comments personally. I more think of it as motivation to do better and prove them wrong. Keep pursuing your passion, Anton. In Carlsbad, California, with photojournalist Drew Evanson, I'm Ian Stocks. What's up, Valley? I'm here with Anton Scholl, a 13-year-old ocean photographer. So what got you interested in photography? Um, basically, I was around eight years old, and I was looking through Instagram, and I found some of Clark Little's posts, and it inspired me to get a GoPro. So when I was around eight years old, I got my first GoPro. And about a year ago, I got this water housing for my phone, and I've been using it ever since. Awesome. We'll talk a little bit more about this water housing. Okay, so basically, it's a waterproof housing. And you get to use it in massive shore break. You can get slammed by a wave, and it'll stay compact, and no water will get in. That's awesome. So we saw in the video you, sh you make prints. For those of us who want to go buy those prints, where can they get your prints? Um, you can DM me through my Instagram, anton.scholl. And basically, we can set up um, an arrangement of either you want to print on canvas, metal, or acrylic, and the sizes and all of the all of the sizes differentiate, differentiate, I don't know, um, and prices, and basically you can sell them off Instagram. That's awesome. We'll make sure to go get one of Anton's prints, help support him, and we'll send it back to Macy and Tommy. Thanks, guys, and make sure to check out Anton's page. Now we'll take a look at part one of our VMS TV experimentals. We were each given the assignment to produce a video that is creative and out of the box, and we certainly did. Roll the montage. Normandy. I don't make bad puns, but I have no idea what to do for this vlog. Get it? Not Normandy. <laughs> Ninth inning now. Freddie Galvis is up to the plate with one on, one out, and he hits the ball down the third baseline, and that goes. Hello guys, I'm Brockstar Silmaz. This is my video on how to do the zoom transition.
Alright, I'm back, and we have all of our shots right here, just normal. So, it's just um, a wide, tight, medium kind of sequence, and continuity is key, as you can see right here at the end of this clip. But, when it comes to being vegan, Adam thinks otherwise. One, it's super expensive, like it's unnecessarily expensive, because like you can get something for super cheap. That's Great job, everyone. Remember to stay tuned because we will be showing the second half of our experimentals later in the show. Next up, we have a segment produced by Brock Sarsilmaz on the NordSync Technology Competition. Let's take a look. So we're here at Valley to do a really exciting program where we're educating kids about science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And hopefully that they'll be so excited about it that when they go into the high school, they'll start considering STEAM as one of their careers. 73 is correct. Nice job. So before we came to the schools, we sent out three essay questions to the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, and then we went through every single one of them, and we chose one student who we thought had really great ideas uh, to win an, an Apple iPad. Thank you. You guys did great. Congratulations to all the winners. Before we move on to the next story, we have a big announcement. The person who was closest in guessing the number of Skittles for the Pride Week was Josie Dominguez. There was 1,826 Skittles in the jar, and she guessed 1,840. Josie, you can pick up your prize in the front office, which is Skittles and a movie gift card after school. Congratulations, Josie. Next up, we have a story about a roller skater at Valley who has some big goals for her future. Brock, roll the clip. Hi, my name is Hayden Corkle. I'm in eighth grade, and my passion is roller skating. Although there are many benefits to Haley's roller skating, there's one that stands out the most. Boys are just really um, attracted to the unique sport of roller skating. They think it's really cool. Haley has to make many sacrifices for roller skating. You know, she has a lot of friends, but she's so busy with roller skating, unfortunately she has to say no a lot. So it doesn't look like she has a lot of friends, but I think she could have a lot of friends if she wasn't roller skating so much. Haley is not your average skater girl. There's something that sets her apart from the rest. I like to roller skate down on the beach, especially in the sand. The sand is a nice terrain for me to um, skate on. Although Haley doesn't know what her future will be in roller skating, her mom sure does. And so the next step would be uh, for it to become an Olympic sport, and I do believe that girl will be there, 2024. Guys, look at Baywatch. Haley has one message for people that don't take roller skating seriously. Skating isn't just a hobby, but it's a lifestyle. Keep making us laugh, Haley. In Carlsbad, California, for VMS TV, with videographer Lauren Hagen. I'm a very independent woman. I'm Reese Fells. Thanks, Reese and Lauren, and good luck, Haley. I'll keep my eye out for you at the 2024 Olympics. The sixth graders are currently experiencing their own sort of Olympics. So let's head down to the lower field to see what that's like right now. We're out here, we're doing the Olympics. They're run the girls are running the mile, some boys are. Uh, there's a bunch of events. We're doing um, Village A versus the Village B. And we're doing like competition running and stuff. We're doing long jump and we're doing the Greek Olympics. 
There's a bunch of places out here where we're going to be doing a lot of like long jumps, high jumps. It's for the Greek Olympic field days. And every time you complete two events, such as like the mile or the long jump, you put in your scores to the computers, and then whoever has the least amount or like greatest amount, depending on what event you're doing, uh, you win, and it's Village A versus Village B. Wow, epic job on the Greek Olympic sixth graders. Next up, we've got Mr. Robertson live in the studio to explain the last week of school schedule. Dom? What's up, Valley? I'm Dominic Anderson here live with Mr. Robertson to talk a little bit about what's going on tonight and next week. So, what's going on? So tonight we have the eighth grade dance. It's from 6.30 8.30 in the MU. Um, it's looking really nice down there. I've been checking in throughout the day. So, we'd like all the eighth graders to show up and have a great time. All right, so a little bit about the eighth grade dance. Um, what time is it at and what's the dress code like? So time is 6.30 to 8.30. Uh, dress code is uh, skirts, dresses, at least to the bottom of the knuckles. Uh, no high slits on dresses or skirts. Spaghetti straps are okay. Um, no backless dresses. Long pants, collared shirt, um, as long as it's long sleeve, or we're allowing short sleeve collared shirts as well. Uh, no shorts, no jeans. Um, a student may wear sandals or any open-toed shoe, but make sure you keep your shoes on all night. All right, sounds like it's going to be pretty fun. For people who have purchased a yearbook, when can we pick those up? Yeah, so yearbooks will be picked up in the MU between first and second lunches on June 13th, which is Wednesday, for sixth and seventh graders. Eighth graders, um, after we clean up, after our catered lunch that we're going to have, then we'll have you go pick up your yearbooks then. Okay, and then um, for people who have not yet purchased yearbook, is it too late or is there still time? It's not too, you, not too late. Uh, yearbooks will be sold on Wednesday, June 13th and June 14th from the ASB office uh, while supplies last. The cost is $45, um, cash only. All right, guys, make sure to pick one up, $45 in the ASB office. Last but not least, we all know Thursday is the last day of school. What's going on for eighth graders specifically? So just to let you know, last week, or next week, um, Tuesday will be the talent show. Uh, Wednesday we'll do rehearsal promotion. Thursday is the last day of school, and eighth graders will be uh, having our promotion uh, day, which we'll be leaving down to go to promotion at about 9 o'clock. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Robertson, for coming on. Now I'm going to send it back to Tommy at the desk. Thank you, Don and Mr. Robertson. Remember to make these last few days count, Vikings. To finish off the show, we now have the second half of VMS TV's 2018 experimentals. Brock, roll the clip. life to the fullest. I love every memory I make and I laugh with the people I care about most. My perfect world consists of the everlasting
stay Tell me honestly Would you still love me the same If I showed you my flaws If I couldn't be strong Well, we can thank these people behind us, Brock and Kane, who are in the control room running the show behind camera. And of course, all the... And of course, all the 7th and 8th graders for those experimentals. But we obviously want to thank you, the audience, for watching us all year. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So we have to say goodbye to you, the 8th graders, and especially Valley Middle School. And a huge shout out to Mr. Green for making it such a great year in broadcasting. But without further ado, we'll see you next year. Have a great summer, Valley. Bye. 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 Yeah. Oh,